So, we're in. Yay. This is our apartment. Um, well, you can't turn around, can you? That's right. Shit. Mine can turn around. You can if you have it turned around before you start filming. Yeah, I know, but that, then it gets all weird and stuff. Um, front door. So stupid. That's like, oh, I'm gonna. Should I leave it unlocked? Yeah. Okay, I'm going down. Okay. So, enter into the apartment. We've got a um, heavy door apparently. Uh, walk in. There is a long hallway here. Now, reminder: this is a studio apartment, so it is gonna be small. So before anyone's like, "Oh my god, it's so tiny," which. When we FaceTime our mothers, they the first thing they said was, it's so small. It's like, yeah, well, we're happy to live in it and we don't even use like every room in a one bedroom anyways. We're always in the office. And then if we had our beds in the office, we'd sleep there anyways. So it works out. Anyways, um, walk in the door, come to your right. There's a door here, okay? Door goes into a closet, which has like a little uh, rack here for your clothes, which we are going to go ahead and obviously put like one of those shoe holders as well as, um, you know, people could put their whatever's here. Uh, other shoes as well as probably a little bit of storage. We're probably gonna, um, he said that he was gonna turn this door around so it's gonna go the other way. So it's gonna be on this side. So when you do open it, you're not gonna be blocked from what I'm gonna show you. As well as the door is gonna go ahead and clo close off the uh, closet area. You go in here and you're gonna go ahead and see that we have our bathroom here. This is our bathroom. Um, we're also going to utilize all of this space up here. Like, oh, there's massive ceilings, and since it's a studio, we're going to, we thought about this artistically, we're going to go ahead and utilize all the space that's above us as well. Like, we're going to put stuff up here as well as shelves and stuff. So that way, we can go ahead and, you know, have room for everything. Walk on into the bathroom. You've got a medicine cabinet here, which does actually have a mirror on the inside. So when you're going ahead and toying around with stuff or brushing your teeth, you go ahead and have another one. Um, same concept, uh, small space, but we're gonna go ahead and put a little thingy down here, as well as maybe like a little thingy down there, or whatever the case may be. We're gonna go ahead and get one of, here's our shower. We're gonna go ahead and get one of those little things that goes in the corner that stands all the way to the roof, and then we're gonna put our shelves of different things there. Uh, we have a wraparound shower curtain, which you will notice right here, and it's like, so we gotta get like an extra long shower curtain, I guess. So it's gonna be interesting. As well as um, we have our, oh yeah, our toilet. So there's this, there, I love this right here because I want to put like a, a, a row of plants on it. So I think that'll be really cool. As well as our toilet, we're going to go ahead and obviously it kind of gives you the area as it is. So in Ikea, you can either put a big like thing here or we're going to get one of those ones that stands up and over it, which I want to personally put in. As well as the same exact thing, all of this area here is just empty storage space that we're going to turn into storage space above the above the window as well as there the window does open and it goes into one of the old building ventilation shafts you know that they built when it uh was originally made this is a very very old building it was built in the 1920s so a lot of this is still old stuff but they do have a lot of new appliances and things now Come out of there, you're gonna walk down here. Okay, walk down this hallway, same thing. Big open areas that we're gonna turn into lots of storage space. This is all gonna be storage space. Come in here, you've got your windows, self-explanatory. When you look across, there isn't a view of the mountains, which I would've preferred, but there is actually a, um, you know, uh, you can see the brick building here, the architecture that they have, as well as a four-story drop. So there's a four-story drop down there. Um, we've got an old-fashioned heater that's running along here, as well as the earthquake prevention rails or whatever those are. This is our living room, okay? This is our living room in the apartment, okay? Yes, it is tiny, but we have tons of ideas on how to make this into an awesome place. It is going to be really awesome, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and start off with mounting a, um, let me go over here and show you. We're going to go ahead and mount our TV on the wall as well as put a bunch of shelves up. Same thing, a bunch of shelves up there. Inside of that is gonna, is, has a, our rails, you know, that have, for our clothes, storage, you know, whatever. We're gonna put like, you know, dressers and crap in there. We have our fridge, obviously a space for microwave. Over here, great area to put up little magnetic strips to go ahead and put all of your utensils and stuff, especially the stuff you don't wanna see. 
Over here, it opens and has this perfect little area where Sam actually has a, um, a, a it's a triangle pullout thing that stands right here. And we're gonna go in and put it right there as well as some other stuff. Space, 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 which we don't really have that much food anyways, so it works out perfectly. Down here, other counter space for bowls or whatever the case may be. Same concept, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn these into everything else. Like we're gonna put the little second dairy dividers here to put bowls and cups and everything in here, as well as all of our food. We're gonna also utilize the space above it, you know, in a very creative way. Um, magnetic strips are gonna go across here that's gonna have knives and all of our utensils. And then over here, we're gonna put like a table of sorts or maybe a uh, a fold down table that is attached to the wall. Um, people are probably thinking, where are you gonna sleep? You know, you don't have a bed. Well, right here, we are gonna go ahead and get a day bed, okay? The day bed is gonna go probably right here, and it stops like right here. And then it's gonna be, um, for those of you who don't know, a day bed is a sofa that folds into, bed, folds into a bed during the night or whatever you wanna do. Not automatically, but whatever way you wanna do it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there, and it's gonna go ahead and fold out. We're gonna put a little coffee table as well as in front of it. Like I said, the TV's gonna be mounted on the wall. Um, over here, you know, a little coffee table and stuff. But that's the place, and it's gonna be awesome. And the next video that I make that has to do with this place is gonna be all of our stuff. Well, not all the boxes and everything, but like we're gonna have actual stuff in it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so cool. And I'm really excited because this is our place, and we are living in Los Angeles. And now I have to leave because I have to unpack this SUV. This SUV has been killing me for the past week because it's been weighed down, it's been burning gas, and just all of our stuff we can't get to because of the fact that it's in it. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna go ahead and get it. All right, so it's gonna be awesome. But um, yeah, when it's daytime out, I like to do another video showing the actual neighborhood that we live in and how awesome it is. So stay tuned for another video probably tomorrow. Take care and uh, feels great to live on your own.